This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss three power query functions and the functions are table.promote header, table.demote headers and table.single row. Now what does promote header does is so you might have noticed that you know uh, sometime what happens when you bring in the table it doesn't have uh, the proper header the, the header is basically the first row. In that case what we do is we use the option you know first use first row as a header from the menu. But what is the actual function which actually get executed behind the scenes is that table.promote headers function. Is this something which get executed behind the scenes and it's going to promote the header. So what would happen you bring in a table it doesn't have a proper header and you say promote header. So it is going to convert the first row into the header. So and then there is an optional uh, argument which you can also give uh, where you can specify certain values and they can be taken like promote all scalar equal to true culture equal to USCM. Okay. Now, uh, the second function which is basically demote header. Now, reverse could also be true. Now, maybe our data doesn't have headers and Power BI detected it uh, and uh, as a header and actually made the first row as the header and we want to demote it. So, what happens? Demote column headers uh, to the first row. By default, the column names are column 1, column 2 and column 3 so on. So, you will get column names as column 1, column 2, column 3. That's how you are going to get it. Now the third function which we wanted to discuss is a table dot single row. Now what would happen in case of table dot single row table as table returns a single row in one row table. If the table has more than one row exception would be thrown. So we have to see you know what does it do. Uh, basically if a table has a single row then what is going to do and if table has more than one row what it's going to do. So let's jump onto the Power BI. In Power BI, I have already opened a file and this is the same file where we are discussing our table functions. So in the home tab, I'm going to go to the transform data, transform data and in the transform data, let's begin our journey. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm, let me bring in couple of tables and try out the promote header and demote header first. So what I can do is I can go to the uh, recent sources and bring in my pivot data in case you doesn't have that. So now in case my, in my case also, this is not working. So what I can do is I can bring in the Excel and pivot data sheet is something which is available uh, on the GitHub. So from there you can download it and use it. And let's bring in few call tables from a let's let's say bring in this fill. Uh, good example here. Uh, let's bring in the detail table and let's bring in product three tables. I think that should be sufficient enough right now to do these three functions. And because I have done this operation from the power query because I'm bringing in the new source from the power query it actually end up landing me on the power query only. So now fill now you see this is already a promote header case fine. So the headers are already there uh, inside this one but you see here this is already an step which has actually promoted the header. So now let's do one thing let's remove this change type let's remove this navig steps. So we have removed two steps now you see the name maths physics chemistry which is actually the headers are part of not are not the part of the header they are actually the first row. So we want to promote the header. So how do we do that and we want to do it manually by writing down the function. So we go to the fill right click on that on the left hand side there is a fill table and we go to advanced editor. Now we want to add a, one step. So how do we add comma and comma on the last step and then write down new step and let's say promote headers. Now here what you are going to say equals to table dot promote headers. Now the moment I do that uh, I need a table name now because the first first argument is table and the table name is going to come from the last step. Now if it if it has the space it is going to be hash in the double quotes now right now it doesn't have space. Now you also might have observed that whenever I give a table name I give it in underscore underscore the reason behind that is basically I don't want uh, you to confuse between the steps which I am writing down versus what are automatically written. So that's the reason we do it. So what we are doing very simple step we are saying table dot promote header and from the last step we have taken the table whatever is the last step from there we have taken fill sheet and we have set promote headers and now because the promote header is my last step I need to give the promote headers into the last uh, into the in and the moment I do it you see that you know 
you got here name maths physics chemistry computers and english as your headers okay so in this manner they become your headers okay and then data type change and all those detect data type all those things we can do now we have to also do demote headers now let's bring in this here again now it's in this case you can see already the promote header is already been done now let's say this was actually the data i don't want to promote it so what happens by mistake this became a header or maybe you know use first row as header now this is this could be the something which could be then you know the data now then what should i do i want to demote the headers isn't it now sometimes these kind of problem can come if the name is only by you know integer type then this could there could be a problem that the name might not be correct because there could not be two names same as you know the column name so in that case there would be a problem so let me let me remove this let me remove this so let's bring this down promote headers so what we are going to do we are going to right click and say advanced header so after this change type we will see we want to demote the headers now so what we are going to do is here is we, we are going to write down next step demote header and we are going to use table dot demote headers now in this function what does this function takes an argument as table now hash change type is our table in the last step and the, it, the, this is very important we have to always take the name available uh, uh, name from the last step if you are creating a new table then you can refer the uh, table name means in a new table i want to refer some other table then i can use the table name otherwise if i am doing in the uh, for the same table if i am doing this step i need to refer the last step now i change my last last step i may, i have to make sure that there is a comma here and now i can you know on the second last step there is a comma last step there is no comma after that we have in in means you don't need a comma before and now you have in the underscore demote header once you are done with the demote header now this header has been moved below so promote header will take it one up level take the first row header as a demote move the header as first row okay so in this manner you can actually go ahead and do these changes promote header and demote header so now this time we have done it manually but otherwise in the home tab you have these options like use first row as header which is promote header use headers as first row which is basically demote header so table dot promote headers table dot demote headers is is the functionality of these two functions so now you know the what function is working behind now let's check the single column now what happens here is basically let's create a new table in this case so we say new source blank query and in the blank query let's right click and open in the advanced editor and let's check table dot single row and here what we are going to do we are going to give the product as a table name now see here i am i'm actually referring to another table now this table doesn't have space so i can simply write down if it has space same like steps we have to write down hash in double quotes and let me see so what does it gives it says there weren't enough elements to invalidate the complete operation this seems like there are more than one row that's what it say it should have one row so do we have a table with a one row here doesn't seems like so what we can do we can with the enter data let's create one isn't it we can do so let's create one and with the two and we don't need anything data let's call that data to let's press okay now we got a data to table now go to the query six advanced editor and let's give data to now what i've done in this case i created just one row table now single row table and let's see what happens so it does return us a record which is like basically the single row and that record i can convert it to so basically what's happening is basically returning a record and if you look at the definition what it returns is as a record so what happens the single record which you are giving it returns it as a record so go ahead and try these three functions out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you